Welcome everyone to this another language arts lesson. In this lesson, we will be looking at phoneme isolation. This is the first of two lessons. Now, let us look at the objectives we hope to achieve at the end of this lesson. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to identify and state beginning, medial, and ending phonemes in words, match objects with the same beginning or ending sound. Before we go any further, let me remind you what phonemes are. What is a phoneme? A phoneme is the smallest unit of sound in speech. It is the individual sound that a letter makes. Now that you know what a phoneme is, we are now going to be looking at what is phoneme isolation. What is phoneme isolation? Phoneme isolation is the ability to identify where a sound appears in a word or what sound appears in a given position. Now boys and girls, I'll be showing you a few pictures and I'll be asking you a few questions pertaining to those pictures as well. Listen carefully and see how best you can give the correct responses. Now take a look at the screen. Name the picture. This is a picture of a fan. Now, what is the beginning sound in the word fan? What is the ending sound of the word fanned? Now, what is the medial or middle sound, the sound you hear in the middle, in the word fan? Okay, boys and girls, the beginning sound is f. The medial sound is a. Uh, and the ending sound is n. Mm. So then, boys and girls, if you had those correct, pat yourselves on the shoulder. Now, let's look at another example. Here we have a picture of a star. What is the ending sound? If you say r, you are correct. Try this other one. What is the beginning sound? This is a picture of a lizard. If you say L, you are correct. Name the picture on your screen. What is the medial sound? If you say I, you are correct. Now, boys and girls, you are now going to be engaged in a listening activity. Listen to each word and state the position of the sound stated. Are you ready? Let's go. Party. What is the ending sound? The next word is lollipop. What is the beginning sound? Very good. L. Try this other one. The next word is shorts. What is the beginning sound? Sh. Another one. The word is clap. What is the ending sound? P. 
Now the last word is bug. What is the medial sound? Oh. Now if you have gotten all of those correct, pat yourselves on the shoulder. Now let us continue to look at the next part of this lesson. On screen, there are six pictures, three on the left and three on the right. Now match those on the left with the ones on the right correctly using the same beginning sound. Let us name the pictures, tongue, shoes, lungs, shell, ladder, tiger. Remember, we are matching the beginning sounds. To which picture would you match tongue? Tongue goes with tiger. To which picture would you match shoes? Shoes goes with shell. And the two last ones, of course, go together. Lungs is matched with ladder. Try another one. Now, boys and girls, we are going to be matching the same ending sound. Listen carefully. The pictures are on the left, cart, flower, gum. On the right, drum, tower, nest. Are you finished yet? Let's go. Cart goes with nest. They both have the t sound at the end. Flower matches with tower. They both have the r sound at the end. Gum matches with drum. They both have the m sound at the end. The next activity. Matching medial sound. The pictures on the left are sun, car, mop, and bed. On the right, bun, head, cat, and pot. Say them slowly and see if you can discover the medial sound. Then match them correctly. Now boys and girls, take a look at the answers. Sun and bun both have the o uh sound in the middle. Car and cat both have the a uh sound in the middle. Mop and pot both have the o uh sound in the middle. Bed and head both have the e eh sound in the middle. Now, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed those activities and that you've gotten all of them correctly. If you haven't, it therefore means that you need to review your letter sounds. Before we go, let us review our objectives. 
Did we identify and state beginning, medial, and ending phonemes in words? We did. Did we match objects with the same beginning or ending sound? Yes, we did. Until we meet again for the second part of this lesson, take care of yourselves.